guys welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time make sure you subscribe um before we get started i just wanted to say um the audio might be muffled a little bit because i'm still getting used to a mic and all that kind of stuff but yeah um today i use mostly on my eyes most most of my eyes besides eyeliner and mascara is using the huda beauty dust to um dawn palette so it's amazing first time using it had it for forever but i finally got around to it so yeah so make sure you watch and subscribe Thank you. Sorry guys, that's the only part I missed was me applying my moisturizer and I just used the first aid beauty moisturizer. So hopefully there's not any other parts missing in the rest of the video. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna color correct. I'm gonna try this right now. Um this is the first time I'm trying it. It's a makeup forever one step um e skin equalizer. Basically, it's just gonna like um color correct. Um I feel like this is a too light of a color, it's more like a salmon. I'm using more of like a bright orange usually. So I'm gonna try this out. I don't feel like it did anything basically. I feel like it just put a tint of like orange, but like I don't feel like it really like did anything to my skin. So I'm gonna use my basic MAC um Pro Longwear Concealer. Um this is the dark color basically, which I'm just gonna use the pure orange, which is right over here. It's the same brush I was using, I'm using the Sigma Precision Angle P84 brush. Now I'm just gonna go with my Makeup Forever foundation. I feel like I haven't used this in forever. I'm in the color R410, I believe. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with this. I haven't used this in a long time, so I don't know if this is my color anymore even. I'm using more of like the newer like stuff. So like um, the Huda Beauty foundation I'm using, the Fenty foundation. Um, even like CoverGirl, which is like my go-to sometimes. For an event that's like not like crazy. Or like I don't need like full coverage or like anything that looks really nice or luxurious. I usually use that. Now that um, foundation is done, it pretty much matched my skin. It looks on camera like it's not matching my neck, but it really is. Um, I'm just gonna go in and just conceal this part and really brighten it up. Uh, conceal that's lighter to my skin tone. I'm using Maybelline Angel Wine. I just usually use this. It's like uh, my go-to ever since I started like doing that. I'm brightening up my face. a loose setting powder and it's putting this everywhere i just highlighted basically i'm using a real techniques blush brush and really just patting it in there um and also putting it right under where i put my contour so that there's really is a transition right there and you could tell where it's bright in and you could really tell how sculptured it is in pictures <laughs> I'm just going to use my shade in light palette and I also use the shade in light brush I'm just going to use the bronzer side which is a shade and go in with the lighter two colors and I usually just mix them, tap it off and just go in. Okay, 
here to be the Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. It's my first time using it. I had it since my birthday. Um, so I've had it for quite a while. I just never got around to using it. So this will be my first time. I'm just using my MAC Soft Okra um, Paint Pot. And I'm just going to use that as like a base. I'm going to apply it with a brush. Just so like I don't get it everywhere. And also just like put it on my lid. Because like really where I want to concentrate it at. The color blade and amber and just mix it to a bit of my crease so i'm gonna go in with the color amethyst which is like a purple color so i'm gonna blur that right in there I'm just gonna take like a flat um shader brush and just go in with the color desert sand which is this like beigey white color and just pack that onto the rest of my lid then i'm just gonna go back with another like on the um in the blending brush i'm going back with the color amethyst just to make sure it's like really in this corner Now I'm going to go back in with a different color. I'm going to color Twilight, which is kind of like this chrome color. And we'll just put that in the middle. I'm going to use a Sigma um, blending brush in A25. It's the mini brush. The only thing I get, didn't get to do is use a brush. It just wasn't being able to pick the way I wanted to. So instead, I just used my fingers. Go in with this gold color right in the middle next to the one I just used. Nefertiti. And then I'm just going to do that in my inner corner. Right now, I'm just gonna brush the rest of this powder that's like left over away. Now I'm gonna my favorite mascara. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just gonna curl my lashes also. I'm just gonna go in though with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm just gonna like align the outside of it just a tad bit. So I didn't get to mention, but here, I'm just taking the color amethyst and going back in with a smudge brush and just smudging that out on my lower lash line. Now, of course, for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Huda palette. This is the Huda um, gold palette. It's the one for deeper skin tones. Hi. I'm going to stick this right here. I'm going to put it I'm just going to go in with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour um, Pencil in the color Trendsetter. I'm just going to have this all over my lip. I'm not going to put a liquid lip on. I just like the way this looks itself. So yeah. So yeah, this is the finished look without all the bright lights on. And it really came out really nice and glowy without the lights on, of course. So yeah. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks for watching.